Uh, next topic is WADL. So here we're going to talk about what WADL is and why uh, type WADL could be useful. And uh, we are going to see WADL document structure. And uh, then we are going to see uh, example mapping between HTTP request and WADL. And uh, then we are going to see some WADL public examples such as Yahoo News Service. A new search and uh, Atom, uh, the Atom uh, publishing protocol. So what is and why WADL? So W it, it stands for Web Application Description Language. Uh, the uh, is a machine friendly sitemap basically, and uh, it is HTTP assumed. So as I said before, you can think about WADL is the WSDL for RESTful Web Services. And uh, it's XML-based language, and uh, but it's not restricted to XML payloads, so it can handle JSON, and uh, it uses hyperlinks for comp composability, and uh, and it, so it's basically development language and platform neutral as well, and that's aligned with the REST uh, REST terminology. Okay. Yeah, so by uh, the development language and platform neutral is that, you know, basically any client which has an access to WADL can actually access the uh, RESTful web services without knowing much about the uh, servers, RESTful services, development language, or platform. So why WADL? So WADL is designed to provide a simple alternative to WSDL for use with XML and HTTP RESTful based web applications. Okay. Uh, the uh, um, uh, the until WADL. I mean, WADL is still not actually uh, you know widely used, by the way. Okay. So you know the. Uh, uh, basically, uh, people actually find out information about particular web uh, RESTful-based web services through different means, uh, using combination of textual description and XML schema. Uh, but uh, WADL is trying to provide uh, more machine processable description of such application in a format that is possible, like WADL. So, as we talked about before, WSDL's usage is that machine can read WSDL and can find out. Uh, what services available and how to invoke those services? Yeah, before WADL, uh, the uh, the uh, that kind of things that were possible with the WSDL was not possible for the RESTful based web services. Okay, so uh, the one of the goals of WADL is machine readable description of RESTful based web services. Uh, okay, so WADL document structure. So again, is very much aligned. Uh, with restful, ba restful based services terminology. So uh, the resources, so it's identified by URI. It basically has to describe resources on a restful web service, right? And uh, it has to specify which HTTP methods are supposed to be used to access that resource. Uh, methods uh, specify details of a request and response contents and uh, basically often refer to representations, okay? Uh, representation is describing the format, okay, uh, and uh, and grammar. It can refer to grammars. Uh, grammars are specified the XML schema. So this is the WADL uh, WADL document structure: application, doc, grammars, uh, resources, and inside the resources you have uh, the uh, the uh, uh, parameters, method, and uh, other resource. And uh, then uh, you could also have a method, representation, and fault, and resource type. So let's see examples of this. Uh, okay, so this is a continuation. So you can have a method uh, definition. And uh, so you can see uh, what is the uh, uh, request and what is the response. Okay, and uh, uh, in request and response, you can specify representation. And these are prime structure. So uh, when you send a prime, uh, again, again, you can have uh, options and link. Okay, and uh, then prime name, of course. Let's see uh, and resource uh, type structure. So let's actually go into uh, the a bit more detail, and you'll have a better understanding. So example mapping between HTTP and request and what are. So this is an example where we are defining uh, the uh, um, 
uh, the uh, an application with these resources. Okay, so resource base is base address is this. Okay, so this is you can think of like a root path. Okay, uh, in JAXRS, you know we have a path uh, on the root resource, right? So that's basically representing this guy. And uh, then within the resources, we have uh, res you know set of resource and uh, the uh, uh, and uh, this resource has a path of this. So this path is going to be concatenated to the base path, and uh, this resource can be accessible through this get method. And uh, in terms of request, you can specify uh, parameters. So user ID and that should be a string type and the tax is a string type and uh, the uh, limit is a string type okay and this is actually query parameter so you could actually send like uh, the uh, let me see whether we have an example like um, uh, yeah so basically in this case is a query parameter so it's going to be uh, this URL added with this concatenated with this one then you might actually have a user ID equal some values uh, then uh, ampersand sign tax equal some values and things like that okay so this is actually for base URL so I think uh, uh, yeah so the uh, you know when you have uh, we're gonna actually use the same example uh, reflecting the key points so this resource uh, is this so when user is going to send this part that is reflecting this uh, base URL. Okay. Uh, the next one is a URL path. So this URL path that is being sent from the client API slash v1 bookmarks that is reflected in resource path right here. And uh, in terms of method, so this is the uh, get method, and that is specified in method element here. And in terms of query parameters, uh, so here user ID equals Tom, ampersand uh, tax, equal, uh, tax equals rest, rest and the ampersand, uh, ampersand sign and limit equals 10, they actually reflect these params. Okay. All right, so we're going to actually take a look at example uh, Yahoo News Search. So let me see whether this guy is still available. Uh, let me see, allow. Oh, okay, that's not the right link, so I should actually update it. Okay. Oops. Okay, so uh, it used to be on this site and uh, query parameters. So here, uh, app ID get this from Yahoo by registering and uh, query space separated list of keywords and many others, including language sort and result count. So uh, Yahoo used to have a search news search, and uh, you know basically you can invoke it through a RESTful request, and they actually expose WSDL. Uh, on their website, and you can get the result in the form of XML, JSON, and PHP. Okay. Uh, maybe this is actually the link. Okay, so maybe I'm gonna H HTML. Yeah. So let me try H HTML. Okay. So it's still there. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it says. We are shutting down this service in April 2011. For further details, see the uh, deprecated service blog post. Okay. Well, anyway, I mean, I'm sure that they have a new search service in another format. But the key point is that uh, they are all RESTful services. Okay. So this is uh, uh, what you can get. Okay. So I have to actually update uh, the more up-to-date version of it. Okay. So this is their uh, wisdom document. Okay. So here we have an application. And the grammar represent XML schema uh, that uh, that represent XML document that is being exchanged. Then we have a resources and the resource path and the params and the method. Okay. Uh, as far as the method is concerned, this is a get and this is a request and response. Okay. So again, they have a params and uh, here uh, it has a representation of results set and you can be uh, it could be at fault so this is actually representing uh, the uh, the uh, uh, somewhere uh, it should be uh, yeah so it's actually referencing somewhere results set 
uh, yeah here you go so representation uh, result set and uh, it's actually XML type and uh, element is result set okay and uh, search error is also actually referenced uh, here and uh, it's basically oops, so it's basically representing a format okay uh, mid application XML all right uh, Adam publishing protocol uh, so this is the uh, you know typically what you are going to see in Adam publishing protocol result okay uh, the uh, and uh, the way they describe their service is actually that through w WADL so uh, resources and uh, so resource resource yeah it's pretty straightforward nothing really fancy and uh, resource type ID is feed and resource type ID media and then method references get feed and uh, so these uh, method references are defined uh, the, uh, in another document okay well in another section of their WL document okay all right so those are two examples of uh, what are okay all right so that is the end of presentation rather short presentation so